डियर सिक्स्थ सम सी एस ई स्ट्रीम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन टू माई चैनल होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल एंड होप यू हैव स्टार्टेड यूर प्रिपरेशन राइट एज एग्जामिनेशन आर वेरी नियर नाउ आई हैव टेकन यूर फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट दैट इज सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एंड प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट इट इज फुली थेटिकल सब्जेक्ट सो इट कैन बी द पासिंग सब्जेक्ट एंड यू शुड टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ इट ओके एज मच एज पॉसिबल ट्राई टू कवर द थेटिकल कंसेप्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दम इन यूर ओन वर्ड्स एंड ट्राई टू फिगर आउट द की पॉइंट्स ओके दैन इन द एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन राइट डाउन दोज की पॉइंट्स एंड वट आवर यू नो अबाउट दोज की पॉइंट्स यू कैन ईजीली राइट डाउन इन यूर ओन वर्ड्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट मी स्टार्ट हेयर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन मॉडल वाइज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल टेक मॉडल फर्स्ट डिफाइन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एंड एक्सप्लेन इट्स प्रोसेस एंड इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस discuss the david uh, hooker's seven principles of software engineering practice explain the waterfall model and its application in software development and what is a generic process model in software engineering describe its key components and uh, define prescriptive process models and discuss their characteristics next we have explain software myths with the uh, examples explain the concept of evolutionary process models and incremental process models write down their benefits in software development okay as it is not possible for the student to remember all the things whatever is written in the textbooks so better to understand the concepts in your own words okay so that you can follow them in the examination next is a uh, model second that is uh, discuss the different types of uh, requirements and explain the importance of requirements engineering in software development right next what is a scenario based modeling explain with an example sorry what is a scenario based based modeling and explain with an example discuss uh, the challenges faced during requirements negotiation how can they be mitigated and next is write the uml activity diagrams for eliciting requirements and also develop a uml use case diagram for home security function explain the different tasks which uh, requirements engineering encompasses and last question we have from second model that is explain three types of qfd with examples right so now this uh, we'll discuss model third in which you have to cover with a neat diagram explain extreme programming xp it is the super important question with a neat diagram you have to explain it and with a neat diagram explain adaptive software development define agile process and explain agility principle explain communication practice principle write a short note on scrum and crystal next from model third three questions are here that is discuss the fundamental principles and uh, concepts which are applicable to coding and testing briefly discuss principles that guide each framework activity and discuss the principles that guide practice next is the model four what is software project management why is it important and explain project management life cycle explain different ways of categorizing software project explain traditional versus modern project management practices with a block diagram explain management control and write a short note on project success and failure and what are different subject sorry sub phases in project execution discuss contract management and its various stages with diagram okay this is all about module 4 now let us discuss last model that is briefly explain mccall's quality model triangle and dromi's model and bohmis model define software quality and its place in project planning explain project versus process quality management and explain in detail techniques to enhance software quality and uh, next we have differentiate between hardware and software reliability explain quality management systems with principles of bse and iso 9001 2000 uh, this is these are the standards and uh, next is explain capability process model and cmm key areas so this much portion these are the super important questions from your subject that is software engineering and project management so as much as possible in the examination try to fill more than 25 more than 30 pages in your answer booklet okay as theoretical sub as far as uh, theoretical subjects are concerned so better to write much more theory over there okay if uh, you are knowing the technical knowledge about the key points then there is no need of filling the papers okay if you know the genuine points okay right points then try to uh, write down the answer in point wise over there okay so that will be somehow better if somebody doesn't know the exact answer exact theoretical answer for that particular question so then there is the need of filling the paper as much as possible hope you are getting my point and i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will share this video to all your batchmates all your friends so that they can also cover these important questions 
as far as exam perspective thank you